Tija looks like this. You use your hands to wiggle your way in next to the food pipe, and the esophagus is a little bit off to the side on that side. So on the left side, it's a little bit more difficult. And you dig your way in until you're touching bone. And that's pretty much when you nail the lymphatics against the bone, and just with gentle or not so gentle movements, stroke down stroking movements, you're kind of milking the lymphatics downward. And you kind of cover the whole thing until the aperture up here, you know, sort of. And it's a sustained treatment. The whole anterior neck should take about three minutes to do that. Yeah, I'm not going to do it that long now. And then, so I'll open the downstream and then upstream under the, under the mandible. I want to milk the external tonsils, the external big lymph node that's there, and milking it both in a direction towards the chin, which is really anti-lymphatics that opens the valves and the lymphatics by going against the stream and then moving it backwards in the direction where the lymph should flow. And you're kind of watching the patient's face and you know when it's painful, you're on something that shouldn't be painful and that will require more of it. Okay, let's do the other side. So this one you always do contralateral. Like I said, you know, it's fantastic in autistic kids. You teach that to a dad or a mom to do that every day. There's huge changes. Chin a little bit tucked in here. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's very clear to feel the, the tissues and the, where it's scarred up and where it's blocked. And uh, it's the same place where it's painful, you yeah. mm -hmm. So that's the neck to open that up. And then the last thing is to improve the, the drainage of the brain. Now, in autism or in the neurological disorders, the parent or partner that does the treatment the ideal thing is to do it at night, you know, because at night is when the system opens up. There is not that much value to do it in the day, but to show it to patients how it goes, you have to teach them in the daytime. But this is a technique only a live-in person at home can meaningfully do, you know, ideally as late at night as possible. Um, and so this technique looks kind of coarse opposed to the other ones look kind of elegant compared to this, but this one, uh, the lymph drainage of the brain, you have one hand behind the oxa, put the other one on the forehead, and it's a full body compression of the head. Yeah, and you see I'm not using just my body weight, but I'm using the added strength of my arms. For a lot of people, this actually feels incredibly good when you do it. Mm -hmm. And it creates a huge amount of lymphatic movement inside the head. When you do that, you actually feel, you know, the bones in the head and healthy or reasonably healthy people all move in relationship to each other. So by compressing an AP, you actually get a widening of the skull. With her, I can feel it, you know, it's like not like a steel ball, it's more like a rubber ball. Um, and by doing that, you get true increase in lymph flow in the brain and lymphatic drainage. All right. <clears throat>